you guys. Just having a little bit of a stroll, evening stroll before supper. Listening to the night chorus, you can't beat it. Uh, we've had a, it's been quite uh, dry the last uh, few days. And we've had a bit of rain today, so uh, you've got that lovely smell of fresh rain on dry earth. Fresh rain in all this lovely spring bloomage. All the trees are in full bloom. I'm in this lovely little peaceful location here, guys. Beautiful little, just by a church, just up the road uh, from where I war camped. Well, I war camp all around this area. All within about a 10 mile radius of Norwich. But uh, we are on the move. I'm slowly getting things sorted. So we'll be going to the east coast soon. We've got Sky just down there. I don't know if you can see her. She's down there somewhere, Sky. Sky. I'm just looking over that side now. <laughs> Little monkey, there she is. Hello, Sky. Hello, Sky. Having a nice walk, eh? Having a walk before supper. Before supper, uh, a nice cup of tea. Kettle's on, mother. Yeah, the lovely smell of fresh rain is beautiful. All the trees are in full bloom. The evening chorus of the songbirds. Or oh, the blackbird. It's got to be one of the most wonderful songbirds in Britain, the blackbird, in the evening or in the morning. Absolutely beautiful, nice and calm now. It's been windy all day, windy and raining. But I'm um, just outside this uh, church here, guys. This is a 15th century church. I'll give you a little show around, and there's a little bit of a garden as well, a community garden just over the top. I'll give you a quick look as, of that as well. But it's just me sitting here. Just chilling out, chilling out the evening, winding away the hours in the glorious outdoors, contemplating, thinking, just giving your mind a chance to uh, rest and think of nothing. Just smell the beautiful nature. Listen to the birds. Sky's got her eye on a pigeon somewhere. What are you doing, Sky? Eh? What are you doing, eh? Hey, you like going for walkies, eh? So there, you see a pigeon. Oi, Sky, come on. You see a pigeon, eh? Or is it, or is it a squirrel up that tree over there? Oh, too late, he's gone. He's shot off. Yeah, lovely church this is. I think it's 15th century. Uh, just about uh, two miles. Out of Norwich. Yeah, all the trees are, all the spring colours are coming. All the trees have got their party summer dresses on already. Spring is blooming, summer's well and truly starting to get a hold. Mind you, the temperatures have dropped a little bit today. Um, I think that it's going to drop. We've got a bit of a cold front coming in. Well, not cold, but uh, certainly not warm. But all lovely. It's a lovely garden here, guys. Just give it a spin. I'm sat on this bench here. It's a lovely bench here. It's a lovely resting garden for the church. I think it's where they put folks' ashes. I'm not sure. Some lovely flowers knocking around. But uh, I'll show you that garden uh, in a minute. Just around the corner. So it's a community garden. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I've got, I've got Sky tied up, tied up. She'll start barking. She'll start barking, she will, won't you? Hey, you little monkey. Hey, you love your daddy. You love your daddy. <laughs> little bloody monkey. Little tinker she is. Oh, that's better. My face is a bit brighter there. Yeah, it's a lovely little, lovely place. Uh, I used to come here with Christine as well, now and again. What you got, Sky? You found a mice, eh? I think she used to be a ratter or something, catching rats. She keeps doing this in the grass. Look at her. <laughs> what a nutter. Bulgarian nutter. Lovely. I think this is Bowthorpe Church. Uh, yeah, all these are ashes round here. They're not gravestones. They're actual ashes of her. Folk that are departed, but uh, lovely colours, eh? 
Hope you can see those colours, guys. Absolutely beautiful. This lovely Flintstone 15th century, 16th century church. You've got a new building next door, right next door. It's, it's really strange because you've got the 15th century here and there's an alleyway here which just shows you, to show you this guy, it's just spin round. There we go. You've got the 15th century here and the 21st century here. Amazing. Old versus new. Which brickwork do you prefer? I know I prefer this. It's tactile. It's done with love. It's done with care. It's done with attention. It's done with grandeur. Proper buildings, eh? Proper buildings. You know, and 500 years later, they're still standing. Okay, the wooden structures have gone, the roof's gone. But that's only because it's not been cared for. But a uh, lovely job, eh? Right, we'll crack on with this, guys. Get myself back in the lice. There we go. This lovely garden. I'll look at that garden as well. It's only a quick video, I'll let you know what I'm doing. I've had a nightmare with my iPhones. I really had a nightmare. I've had two phones, because I'm on my SE, my old SE generation one. I'm going to stay with this because I can't be bloody arsed with these new bloody phones, I tell you. I don't know whether it's just me or what. But I ordered the first one. That wouldn't sync to my laptop for all my uploading and my videos. I was talking to Apple for days and bloody days and they couldn't, they was logging onto my computer, logging onto my iPhone. They couldn't feckin' sort it. In the end, uh, I went to Apple Store, as I said, and they written that the lightning pin was knackered. Oh, God. So I sent it back. And I got another one come through. Uh, um, a one, a 250 gigabyte one. Second hand one, mind you. All paid on the Never Never. I got that come through. Plugged it into my computer, exactly the same problem. It would load sometimes, it wouldn't, it would load. And it's not just my computer, guys. I've tried seven computers now with neighbours and friends. I was down at a friend's house the other day for about two hours, and he's quite good on iPhones. He's the, he's the bee's knees on iPhones. He tried it for two hours on his laptop, on my laptop, on his computer. He didn't just didn't get a clue what was going on with those phones. So I sent the bloody thing back. The second one's gone back now, so I'll give up on them. Absolutely add it up to here. It's done my bloody bonson. Nearly two weeks now I've been messing about with these iPhones. So I'll stick to this one. It's not the best quality in the world, but uh, with a little bit of editing and Photoshop and uh, I can brighten it up a bit. Plus it's small, it's light. Okay, the battery's not very good. I'll have to keep a power pack with me. I mean, it's 4K, so it should be all right. I just haven't got all the features that I, you would have on 11 Pro or 12. Never mind. Right, I'm rambling on there. Oh, what a lovely evening, and we've just missed a beautiful red sky. Just dropped over the uh, mountain behind me there, so uh, I didn't get that on film, sadly. Never mind. Till later, guys. Is this? Look at the roses are going over there. How stunning is that? Well, some hard work has gone into here. It's a beautiful little sanctuary kind of garden. Sky, stop pulling. Have a little walk around. Some murals on the wall there. Daisies. Hi Daisy. Some nice murals through the centuries. 7th, 11th, 19th. Those beautiful red roses there. Oh, some gorgeous flowers in here. I think this is all done by the community. The local village community. Look at those. You cannot get any redder than that. That is glorious. Look at that. Yeah, 
hear somebody talking. Wow, oh, this is amazing. Children in the background. Oh, I don't like people. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, right, I think it finishes there. It goes into the wild countryside over there. The trees. Some more lovely flowers up here. It's turned into a lovely little walk. Some more roses. Isn't it? You name all these plants, they're gorgeous. The smell, the sweet smell is crazy. I'll get some pictures as well in a bit. It's stunning. There's a beautiful rose there. How lovely. I've never been into gardens much, but I certainly do looking at nice, I can't even speak guys. I certainly like looking at them. Now there's a puppies. Nice orange ones there. What are those guys? Beautiful. What a lovely place. Think of that sky, eh? What do you think of that sky? Eh? Do you like it? Do you like your gardens? They're lovely, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Well done, guys, whoever keeps this going. This is stunning. Right, we're walking back now. Back to Christine. Get a bloody kettle on. I uh, might have a chip butter, uh, egg and chip butter tonight. Lovely, do some chips in the oven. Uh, just scan you around this little field, I mean, it's beautiful. All these beautiful mature trees everywhere, guys. Absolutely lovely, lovely for a walk with Sky. Absolutely lovely. Right, I'll just turn that camera around. Uh, no, it's a bit dark on the front facing camera. No, we'll leave it there for now, guys. But there's a few cottages over there, over that way. I've actually done some metal detecting in this field. Uh, oh, about two years ago, I think. Uh, it's one of the local areas where my flat was kind of place. But, uh, it's lovely for a walk. This guy's pulling, yeah, look, she's pulling the, got the rope wrapped around my legs now. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I keep saying it. Don't bring the dog out when I'm filming. Uh, there's an old, um, I think it's a 17th century kind of manor house just here, guys. It's all been redone. Refitted. I think people live in there now. What a lovely evening. What a beautiful evening. Yeah, they put all new roofs on it and everything. Oh, sky. <laughs> oh, it's a pity you can't see that sky's gone now because it's absolutely glorious. The whole horizon was full of fire. Brimstone and fire, it was full all the way across uh, the horizon there on the way to the west. It's a lovely clear noise, no wind. Beautiful. Right, uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Sky, come here, come and say hello. Come here, come and say hello. And I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Just a quick one, let you know what I'm up to. Here's Sky, Sky, oi. How occupied with everything that's going on around. She's totally manic for every second. She just can't calm down. She will do when she gets older, no doubt. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. You have a, whatever you're doing out there, you have a lovely evening. I certainly have a lovely evening every evening doing walks like this. Now, wherever I like. Just a few steps from Christine, or a few miles from Christine. She just nearly pulled my bloody arm off chasing a blackbird. Count to ten, Steve. 
Alright guys, till later, you have a good one. From country. Have a lovely evening. We'll see you on the next upload. Right, we'll see you later guys. Uh, hopefully, on the coast, I keep saying that. I keep saying, we'll, we'll get there. We're nearly all done now. Bloody iPhones, I tell you, I've done my... They really have got me down. I get into such a state. Uh, I thought you were over there now. I get into such a state sometimes with my mental health and my mind, mind issues. Concentration and all that stuff. I just can't handle it. I can't handle any kind of pressure at all. But we, we got there in the end. We're just going to abandon the project of a new phone. I couldn't afford it anyway, so... I'd only pad pay monthly for the next two years for that anyway. Perhaps we'll also go to uh, Android instead. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Love from country. Out here. Have a lovely evening. Later, guys. <laughs>